Every February, when the snow starts to fall, the soldiers of the Japanese army are sent north to the city of Sapporo. As Japan's pacifist constitution forbids them from marching off to war, their duties are different to those of any other army. While their foreign counterparts busy themselves with preparing for future wars, which may or may never take place, the snow soldiers set about digging and sculpting, creating huge animals, figurines and palaces, carved from the ice and snow. Those in charge describes this as a training exercise. But training for what exactly? Who knows? While the fighting of other armies may well displace those unlucky enough to be caught up in proceedings, the snow soldiers occupations seem to have the exact opposite effect. For Sapporo streets, now resembling a glacial Disneyland, appear to act as a magnet, drawing tourists in from all over the country. This year the soldiers' efforts have given form to the customary mix of cartoon characters, sporting heroes and various company mascots, as well as a somewhat unprompted reproduction of Leipzig City Hall. Although most Japanese people agree that the playground is much better than fighting, it remains unclear whether or not the snow festival is intended merely as a tourist attraction or something more. Perhaps a grand statement, its purpose being to propose the building of statues from snow and ice as an alternative to war. In either case the festival is in decline. In recent times Japan's peaceful constitution has been eroded, her soldiers now sent abroad to intervene in matters which have very little to do with snow. When confronted with their new duties, would the snow soldiers be more concerned at the violent nature of their new work, or the fact that there is no snow in places like Afghanistan or Iraq? As sad as this departure is, perhaps it is somewhat inevitable, for anything dependent on something as temporary as snow can never really be truly permanent.